Everyone wants to live long but live healthy. But we're not working towards it or rather working out to achieve that. Did you know that nearly 1.8 billion adults are at risk of disease from not doing enough physical activity? A recent study published in the Lancet Global Health reveals that nearly 31% of adults worldwide did not meet the recommended levels of physical activity in 2022. The findings point to a worrying trend of physical inactivity among adults. If the trend continues, levels of inactivity are projected to further rise to a staggering 35% by 2030. What does this survey say about Indians? Are Indians at risk for lack of activity? Do you need to worry? Are you active enough in your daily life? This is Quick Take, your quick guide. I'm Smita Prakash. What does the survey say? According to a report from the Lancet Global Health, nearly half of Indian adults are not meeting the physical activity levels recommended by the World Health Organization. This means they are not getting enough exercise to stay healthy. The number of inactive adults has sharply risen in India. In 2022, 45.4% of Indian adults were inactive, compared to 22.4% in 2000. There's a big difference between men and women. 52.6% of women and 38.4% of men are not active enough. If this trend continues, by 2030, more than half of adults in India could be inactive, which is a serious concern for public health. Sedentary lifestyle. In India, sedentary lifestyles have become increasingly common across different groups of people. Modern workplaces often involve long periods of sitting made worse by lengthy commutes and higher screen time due to digital devices. This sedentary behaviour isn't limited to offices. Students and homemakers also tend to be less physically active, contributing to reduced activity levels. Traditional ways of staying active like walking or cycling for transportation have declined with urbanisation and the rise of use of motor vehicles. Dangers of physical inactivity The WHO advises adults to participate in either 150 minutes of moderate intensity or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity physical activity weekly. Failing to meet this can increase the risk of serious health problems such as type 2 diabetes, dementia and certain cancers. Inactive adults are particularly vulnerable to these conditions. Beyond physical health, inadequate activity levels can also affect mental well-being, potentially leading to mood disorders and cognitive decline. The WHO Director General said, and I quote, these new findings highlight a lost opportunity to reduce cancer and heart disease and improve mental health and well-being through increased physical activity. Emergency Alarm for Women Around the world, women are less active than men, with 34% of women not getting enough exercise compared to 29% of men. In some places, this gap can be as wide as 20 percentage points. Research from American Cancer Society and US-based National Cancer Institute supports the notion that sedentary behaviour is linked to higher rates of colon cancer, breast cancer in women and possibly endometrial cancer. Also, let's not forget older people. People over 60 tend to be less active than younger adults, making it important to encourage physical activity among them. 70% of Indians are one medical bill away from slipping into poverty. Remember, staying active is not just about looking good, but feeling good too. A little bit of exercise each day can make a huge difference in your health, happiness and mental health. Whether it's a short walk or a bike ride, every bit helps. Oh,